right, all right. Shh, 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 shh. Hey, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello to all of my friends out there in cricket land. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for Cricket Chat. Yay, yay, yay. We are going to be having a lot of fun today on Cricket Chat. We're making a really fun, I'm trying to fix the, the screen, but it seems a little crooked. Um, we're going to be making a trick-or-treat candy corn banner, um, and that's going to be a whole lot of fun. So I hope you can join me today for that, and um, it's pretty easy, and I want to, um, hello, hello, hi, Sherry. Hi, Laura. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Leilani. How are you? Uh, there's Barbara. Hello. And there's Delia. How are you? Uh, Sherry and Leslie. Hi, everyone. So good morning. Um, it's, what is it, the day after Labor Day? It already feels like late fall here in Massachusetts. Um, we're getting a lot of rain, which will be good for the uh, fall foliage, I think, and um, hopefully, I don't know if it got ruined because of the drought this summer, but good morning to all of you. I hope you are having a good time, a good day, good morning. Um, there's my friend Loretta doing the, all the fun things that she does. Miss Gloria, good morning to everyone. So welcome. Um, so we're we're, you know, now we're into the fall. It's past Labor Day. Summer is definitely over, at least here it is. And so I am taking some artistic license and we're going to be doing some fall things, including a really fun candy corn trick-or-treat banner that we um, are going to put together today. But before I went there, I wanted to show you something that I only just found out. Um, I, I remember hearing about it, but I, you know, just was really crazy, blah, blah. So if you are go if you are a Cricut Access customer, there is a brand new um, feature on, and I don't know, is it going to be there all the time or if it's just sort of temporary, but there's a brand new feature on the Cricut website that you should know about, especially if you are a Cricuteer and you want to um, get your materials for cheap because they're wicked cheap right now if you are an access customer this is just the latest um the latest installment of how cricket is is sort of hugging their access uh, subscribers so remember you don't need to be an access subscriber to um to use your cricket there's always design space. Design space is free to use. And um, there's plenty of free images out there and also in design space. But they do um, encourage people to become access members because it includes a ton, a ton, a ton of projects, images, and fonts. But they also are now offering these special things in the shop, such as, you know, when they do the mystery boxes and stuff like that they're exclusive. So let's go and shop. And I want to show you this right up here, Cricut Access Exclusive. So if you are a Cricut Access customer, you can take a look at these Access Exclusives. And so enabler alert, because I'm going to be spending like a couple hundred dollars just from here from having seen this. So you, you have to be signed in and you have to be um, a Cricut Access customer, which by the way, that you can do it on month to month basis. And if there's ever a time to do it month to month, it's now because from now until Christmas, there'll be a lot of exclusives, I think. Um, so I wanted to point out a couple of my favorites out of these exclusives. First of all, blades. So I'm used to buying these blades in five packs and they're usually $39.00. Well, really $39.99, $40. But they actually have reduced the price to $19.99 for five blades, which is fabulous. And um, so it's half of the regular price. Plus, you get 
uh, I believe you get discounts over and above that. So um, the other thing that I noticed down here is look at this machine mat variety pack. Now this used to be like 40 bucks for one set for the, you, you would get um, a purple, a blue and a green for like 40 bucks, which I always thought was a little too expensive. So I always tried to buy them when they were on sale. Well, now you're going to get six of them, two green, two blue, two purple for 16 bucks. That's crazy, right? I don't even know how much that is per with six divided by $16, uh, like $2 each, $2 each. And you'll also see down here, this, um, this is how I used to buy them, 30 count. They were about um, I think they were like $109 and now they are $59.99. Now you only get these if, if you are an access uh, customer. So it might behoove you if you want to really stock up, uh, it might behoove you to just like join for even a month to see how it is and then get some of these. Here's that two by two mat. They were $49.99 for a five count of them, and now they're $29.99. And then just going forward, um, there's, there's also tons of vinyl. There's smart vinyl, but there's also, I wanted to point out, um, they now have vinyl in 15-foot lengths. And they're only $10 for 15 feet, which is pretty remarkable. Um, and then I noticed, where is it? Where is it? They also have uh, here, um, premium vinyl, which it's a four pack, all right? So wait, no, I'm sorry. It's a two pack, right? So you have, um, you're going to get two two of these rolls and each roll has four feet on them and it's going to cost nine dollars and it comes in like 40 different colors so the, there's my couple of my favorite colors in here which is the beautiful uh pink i love this pink and then there's also my favorite little green that's a petal pink and then my green is somewhere here it's like a mint color nope that's blue but um, check this out. And if you check this out, um, please be sure to use my link. Unfortunately, because of the low, low prices here, my code won't work for these. But seriously, um, it's such a great deal that I just encourage you to have a look. Okay. So let's go. The black iron on was nine bucks. Wow. So, all right, let's go um, to Cricut, to our Cricut uh, design space, and let's have a look at today's project. So today's project is a trick-or-treat banner. I've been making this one for a couple of years now, and, um, and what I did was I used all images, and I want to show you how I did that. So let's go into, and it's also available in design space. Um, uh, under my profile. So if you're looking for this, for this particular project that I've shared, you can go into the Cricut community. And here, I'm just going to show you my profile. Somebody asked yesterday, how do I change the background of my profile? Super easy. There's a little pencil or pen or something like that little thing there. And you can click on that. And you can edit your background. So here I have a picture that I that I put on there that was from a project that I did. But if I wanted to, I could um, actually delete this image. And um, you'll see it just colors in there. So they give you a couple of choices and you just hit apply like that. Or if you want to upload your own image, you can just hit upload and you will be um, prompted to add a photo that you've taken. And you can see I have a lot of photos. So, hmm, what should I do? I think I like that one that I had. So I'm going to put that back. All right. So there is my photo. And actually, it takes a little bit to um, get in there, but I'm going to hit apply. Oh, error. 
error, danger, Will Robinson. All right, never mind. So let's go back to um, to the canvas and have a look at our project. Where is it? There it is. So I have designed this project to be two sizes. And um, I actually have, uh, I've cut this out in both sizes today. And I want to show you how to put it together. But um, also for giveaways, I wanted to, um, I wanted to give away. Oh yeah, we are up. We're up. We're almost at 22,000 subscribers, Eileen. Isn't that great? Um, so I wanted to show you both sizes. The bigger one is fairly large. So the, the, um, this is the size of each one of the candy corns and you'll notice it's like a three, it's three different pieces that are cut. So the yellow is cut here. The orange is like from there to there and the white is the full amount. And, um, I'll show you how to put those together in a sec. And then we also have the trick or treat. So that's on there. So um, I one time I was scolded because I used an image instead of doing my own font. But that's what I did here. I don't know. Sometimes I get a little bit like, uh, I'll just go look for an image. So that's exactly what I did here. So I just went to images and I typed in trick or treat. And I found an image from, I believe it's from Teresa Collins. Teresa Collins was one of the original uh, designers for Cricut. And she has some pretty cool things, uh, some pretty cool designs. So if you couldn't find it here, you could go, let's X this out, and you could go all images image sets and then type in Teresa T-E-R-E-S-A Collins and you can see there are Teresa Collins's um, image sets they're very plain they're very like most of them are silhouettes because remember she was one of the first designers for Cricut so um, that was before like kind of before they we got all like fancy on her with um with what we can do with our crickets but still lots of really great images in here and i believe this is the trick-or-treat that i use so i'm going to add that to the canvas but the only thing i didn't like about this was the bat because i didn't need the bat here okay so what i'm going to do i'll make this bigger and then i'll go over to shapes and i'll grab a square now i'm going to unlock the square and completely cover the bat now if i need to i can get real close by using my my percentage over here, you know, and I just want for it to be um, completely covered. So then once I have that completely covered, I will take my mouse and I'll select both the square and the trick or treat. And then I'm going to hit slice. Now, when I do that, it removes the bat. Isn't that great? So crazy, but it does. And now I have the trick or treat. So the other thing that I wanted to do with the trick or treat is I wanted to make the or separate so that I can make it smaller. You see? So how did I do that? So I would just go ahead and duplicate this. And then on this first one, I hit contour and I'm just going to take out the or like that so now I have trick treat and then on this one I'm going to hit hide all contours and then just have the or and let's see if I did it right or so now I can make this or smaller so I can fit it onto one of these uh, one of these you see so that's how I did that, and um, and that's fine. Now, I'm going to cut this out all in one piece of vinyl, 
So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna use Smart Vinyl today for this. So you can see how um, how it would cut if you have smart. If you don't have smart vinyl, you don't have to do this part. But I just I wanted to show you in case you do have like an explore. I'm sorry, explore three or a maker three. You can use your smart vinyl. So um, let's have a look here. Actually, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use the smaller one because the smaller one actually it's easier to understand how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to hit make it. So there's my smaller one. And you see here, you're really just using, this is the white part. So you're using one sheet of white paper, one sheet of orange paper, and one sheet of yellow paper, just parts of them. And if you wanted to, you could make two of these, maybe one for your back door and one for your front door. So I changed the project copies to two. And you'll notice here that on the white part, there are two extra there. So I'm going to just move them into this page. And I am going to do a few things to finagle to move it around. So I'm going to actually turn this one upside down and get it in there. See, this is how we can serve our paper. So let's do this move object to that first one. And here is that second one that we just moved. And then I'm just going to turn it up around so I can get all of my white triangles onto the same page. Okay. So those are going to be my white triangles. And then you see this mat is empty. When we get to the third screen, it's just going to disappear. And then we have here our trick or treat. I'm going to move the or over here. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go over here and hit without mat okay by hitting without mat i can now cut this out of smart final and i'm actually going to move these down so that it's like this so then when we hit continue and we get to our cutting screen we see here we only have four mats instead of the five and we're going to get two whole banners out of this and then when i go to cut this one, I'm going to choose smart vinyl, and then I will hit more, and then I'll run it through the machine. That's it, folks. It's so easy. So let's put this thing together, or these things together. I'm going to take you down to my work area so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have a few little, um, few little tricks that I do with this. So let's start off with the large candy corn. So I did put these all together last night to save myself a little bit of time, but I did save uh, one or two just to kind of show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. You're going to line this all up like this and glue them together. Let's get my glue. So easy. This would be a fun project to do with a grand or a little you know, and because uh, it's just so much fun to do. So we're just going to glue this onto here. This makes a nice sturdy banner. But if you wanted to, you could also cut the white part out of craft board. Craft board, super easy, and it's a nice thick board. So if you wanted something a little sturdier than just paper, you could also do that. Cut that out of craft board, which is um, something that Cricut sells in white. And there you go. So you're going to just go through and make all of these. This one is stuck to the other one. Why? Okay, there we go. So you see here we have T R. I C K and then we have one for the or T R E A. I think I feel like something is is stuck to the other, but it, we'll just figure it out as we go along. So then we have here the um the vinyl that I cut out. Remember I said I cut them all out. And so what I did was um I cut them all out and then I cut out a piece of transfer tape. So here's my trick or treat. And here is my transfer tape, which I just cut out from my big roll. 
and I'm just going to take and remove the backing and then I'm going to just put this right on there and then I will take my burnishing tool and I will burnish it really well like that okay then when I'm ready so that's what I did here let's have a look trick or treat this is the big one I feel like I'm missing one of those candy corn oh by the way I do when I do do this I always just kind of trim it up so that way it's not sticking to other things later on um I'm sure there's a way more precise way to do it but um, I watched the guy who makes all those signs on, I don't know if you guys watch that, but there's a guy that makes these really fabulous like street signs and he's got all these big tools and everything. And I'm like, yeah, someday maybe Rita, but um, so there you go. So here's our trick or treat. And we're going to just, again, we'll just burnish it and then we'll take our pieces. So let's do, we have our little pieces all made up. And then I'm just going to cut each letter. And hopefully, yep. Yeah, and it just comes off like that. And what I decided to do was put put it on all three of the colors. So there it's on the on the yellow, orange, and white. So be mindful of that when you do this because um you'll you have to do it for each letter right so here we go doing for each letter now um loretta loretta we have let's see three of these to give away today um but i did notice yesterday there was one person that really wanted to win i think her name was sherry so if she's on today you might not have seen her. She could have been on Facebook. So I'm going to have to look. So if you were wanting to win one of the, or what we did yesterday, um, definitely say, I want to win. I want to win. <laughs> um, and then we can have you, we can pick those winners. Okay. So I'll just keep going along and doing this. Yeah, so I also have gotten a lot of um, a lot of questions about the Corgi stickers, um, or I'm sorry, I call them stickers, the Corgi images that they recently added to Design Space. So I'm going to show you them because, oh my gosh, and I don't know if Babs have seen them yet. Babs has, of course, Gracie Junebug, um, my friend who is also a Corgi owner and also a stellar uh, paper crafter in and of her in and of her own self so um so i'm just gonna keep doing this stuff and, and i'll just keep talking and stuff you would like to win the banner okay so we got jay lynn craft room you never won before and connie weaver okay So um, we'll just keep going and Loretta will notice on there. And let's see, I'm so excited this morning I woke up and it was kind of tired. I think it was because of the, the rain and everything. And I didn't for the first time in, in history of being a mom, I didn't have to wake my kid up. He was up and ready to go. And um, he he went off to school, back to school. This is his the start of his uh, second week at high school, at the new high school. So I was pretty excited about that. I got to sleep in till um, six thirty this morning, which for me is late. So I was like, I didn't have to worry about it. Isn't that awesome? So um, so that was pretty awesome. And, and then Santa came by and walked the dogs. And you noticed this morning, no Lola Bell screeching in our ears because I asked him to put her in the, into the uh, bedroom this morning. She's just a little overexcited. 
Uh, so I don't know what to do about that. She's just, I think that's just her personality. My boys are pretty laid back, but she is not so laid back. Anyway, yeah, they just added a couple of really cool projects that when we get done with this, I will show you in design space. So I'm just going through this process. The or goes right in the middle here. Isn't that cute? It's right there. And these are going to be easy to send to people. But I was thinking, you know, um, like, what if you've already made this before? Well, you could make it. I, I've made it before. And um, I just love making this project. So so I was thinking of what, you know, why would I make it again? Um, what if you had like a teenage or a granddaughter that's in, in college or something and you wanted to send so they can decorate their room. I saw a lot of people um, sending their kids off to college and uh, and I thought, ooh, that would be kind of cool if you sent them a little box full of just fun things that they can use for the fall. Or maybe you have a friend that you can give it to. So if you've already made this before, but you really like to make it again, um, sure, why not? Uh, the big one is really big. It turns out really big. And so what I would suggest if you're doing the big one is um, that you sort of break it up. So we've got T-R-I-C-K or T-R-E-A-T. So we've got three more letters to do. So you break it up so you don't um, string it on the same string. Maybe do trick or treat, like that kind of thing, because it's really big. Or put it across a very wide doorway, which is what I do. But um, it's a fun job. It's a fun little project. And you're using up all of that vinyl that you have, which I have plenty. Plenty of vinyl. All right. Tomorrow, we, because tomorrow we are, oh, look at this one got kind of a little bit weird shape. So I'm just going to clean that up. And by the way, if you, if the little holes don't go all the way through, you can use like a little punch tool like this, which um, I believe this was part of, yes, it's part of the true control uh, weeding tool kit that a lot of we, a lot of us have. And the last couple to do and then I'm going to string it up now normally I use baker's twine but this morning when I went to look for my black baker's twine I could not find it because I am still trying I've been working with my friend Christine who's helping me organize and I'm still trying to find all of my twines and ribbons so today I thought I would use this white ribbon I'll show it to you that's actually a Christmas ribbon but white I'm just going to use the white so so there it is trick or treat and this is the ribbon that I'm talking about whenever there's ribbon on sale at Michael's I go and I buy it even if it's Christmas or Halloween or I just got some spring stuff there for like a buck or two. I am a bargain shopper if there ever was one. So um, here is some of that ribbon. Now if you have one it'd be great to use a um, needle. I use that um, Often we'll use my needlepoint needle for this. But if you don't have one handy and you want to string this up, I would use my little tool like this. Or you could also put some tape on the end here. So let's try that. Make, make our own little needle. So we'll put a little bit of tape on here. That will make it easier. We're creating our own little aglet. That's the name. You know, do you know that the end of a of a of the um, shoelace, the part that has the plastic on it, is called an aglet. 
I learned that from Phineas and Ferb when my son was growing up. All right. So we're going to put the aglet that we just created and try to fill it in there. But, of course, it's not cooperating. Let's just make it thinner, shall we? All right. Time just flies, doesn't it? Uh, I remember having my little guy watching Phineas and Ferb or the Polar Express, which I told you guys about. I watched that Polar Express, I don't know, hundreds of times. I probably could not watch it again if you paid me. <laughs> I, I watched it so many times. Now I'm having an issue here. Boy, I wish I had my little needle, and I don't. Or my baker's twine would be easier, easier even, but it's not. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'm actually going to put this on backwards. So I'm going to do treat first. It's not backwards to buy those things, Donna. I, I love to go shopping after after the holidays. T treat, T-R-E, A. So I need an A now. Where's my A? Um, that stems from a very Yankee. I'm a Yankee. For, so the Yankee edition, um, New Englanders are often called Yankees. And I am an old school Yankee from my from my family, and we would often go and buy buy out back in the day. And I wish Kirsten were here because Kirsten she knows this business, so other people might know it. Um, when I was a kid growing up, we had this business here called Ian and Hope. It's kind of like you know Kmart or Caldor, but it was a it was a department store that was very inexpensive and so you know my parents were um you know they were middle class and so we used to go there and shop and i remember the big thing at the beginning of the school year was to um have my aunt my aunt was my also my godmother and she would spend five dollars and that was like a lot of money back then that tells you how old I am but she would take me at the beginning of the school year and buy me five dollars worth of um, school supplies so I would get notebooks and pencils and a pocket what do you call that a pencil case and everything and I just thought that was just absolutely amazing five dollars to buy on all so um, so anyway this this little store uh, and I hope they do a big deal with Christmas and, and uh, they'd have so many Christmas stuff. And so at the end they would sell off everything at 50 and then sometimes 70% off. So that's what fueled my, um, that's what fueled my, my buying of things on clearance. So it just reminds me, I don't know if you guys remember that movie steel magnolias and, and, um, the the girl that Daryl Hannah played, I forget her name, but she she got into like crafting at one point and she made these wreaths and she said, you know, they were having a sale, a fire sale, and I bought all the little baby Jesuses, you know, the little plastic baby Jesus, and I put them on wreaths. And I just thought, oh my God, that's so me, because that's something that I would say. You know, and I just bought all these little baby Jesus ornaments and I made them into wreaths. And, and that would be something I would do. Anyway, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure I'm not alone. Right? Uh, so anybody else see that that part of that movie? And, you know, it's just so funny because she's like, oh, I didn't want to go overboard. But I bought all these baby Jesuses. And I turned them, which I turned into ornaments. Anyway, I'm having a time with this, though. This is not easy. I bet the, the larger one would be easier to do. 
Anyway, this is what we're doing. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow, we are going to be doing, because I, I started talking about that and I forgot to finish. Um, tomorrow, we are going to be freshening up our cars with some breast cancer uh breast cancer support stickers and um because october is breast cancer uh, awareness month and as you guys know i have mbs mbc mbc metastatic breast cancer so i thought it was time to um do some stickers or card decals for for the cause and I'm going to show you four different ones we're going to make out of vinyl. So I'll keep working on this, but I'm going to come up here and show you what we're going to work on tomorrow and I'll share it with you. Um, all right. So you know where to get that, this, this file, right? You know that you can go into Cricut community and if you made a file that was similar, um, or you post a file that was similar, just so that you know to change if you wanted to, you can go here to edit product details. And this is where you would make it public. So when you go to my, this is my profile, when you get there, you will see I have all of my projects. Um, but not all of my projects, actually, because you'll see I have 452 shared projects. But let's go into my projects and have a look. I have over almost 3,300 projects that I have. And um, have I made them all? Not all of them. Sometimes I just make projects and I save them for future and then I forget about them and stuff. So, which is kind of what you see here. If they don't have like a picture, it means I haven't, I haven't taken the picture, which means I probably haven't made it yet. So tomorrow we're doing this breast cancer car decals, which I am now going to turn uh, to make it public. So I click on that toggle switch and it says, do you agree? I say, okay. And then I get my little confetti shower, just like that. Ooh. And now you can go to my profile and see there it is, the breast cancer car decal. So when you find me and you follow me, which you can follow me here, and I'm almost at 900 beat followers, um, that I just, uh, I, I just haven't, you know, I want to get to a thousand. I'm so weird about numbers. I really am. Anyway, so these are some some decals that I came up with actually made a few changes this one here said cancer picked the wrong princess and i thought no nah, i don't really want that princess so i changed it to woman i'll show you how we do that tomorrow and then these are two color pink and uh black but you can use any color so except with the exception of this one um, you, well, it does say breast cancer awareness here, but, but, um, you can, you can turn these into, you know, a lot of times people say, well, what about, uh, prostate cancer or some other types of cancer? So, um, you can find tons and tons of cancer, uh, related images just by going to images and typing in the word cancer, but I'm going to caution you because sometimes, uh, it will show this cancer, which is a horoscope sign, right? So you have to scroll a little bit until you find these uh, female or different kinds of cancer, actually. Look, all the different color ribbons that are out there. So if you know somebody that is working on, um, so this is that one that I use by Craft Pixel Perfect. Now, these names underneath here, that's a, a part of a new program called Continuing Artist. I'm sorry, Continuing? No, uh, Contributing Artist Program. Okay, so um, if you find somebody that you really like, that you want to follow, including like me, I'm not part of the Continuing Artist, but 
you would just hit this sign here. So this is called Craft Pixel Perfect. And she has a little, um, she has a little, I don't, I'm saying she, I don't know if it's a she, but she's got way more followers than me. That's not fair. You guys, you gotta be, you following me. Um, but she has a lot of the cancer, um, ones here, but a lot of others. So you see here, um, and then she also has shared projects, projects she's shared. So isn't that great? <laughs> They're really fun. Brain tumor. Yep. Gray matter. Yes. All right, so who won our, um, oh, Breast Cancer Tree of Life. That's awesome, Cheryl. You do, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so who won our, um, our Trick or Treat banner, banners, I should say? Um, yeah, tell your friends. <laughs> oh, you do reads and, oh, what a nice idea. Paralita and Jay Lynn. Yes. And I do have the best followers. I do have the best followers. I just want to hit more than everybody else. No, I'm just kidding. I, um, okay. So Paralita and Jay Lynn. Thank you, Donna. And I believe it was somebody named like Cheryl or Sherry and uh, that wanted to win yesterday and I can do um, I can do the third person yeah Loretta needs to win Loretta do you want to win this we can do Loretta Paralita and Jay Lynn and if Cheryl uh, I thought there was a Cheryl thank you Ardina I appreciate it Paralita and Jalen and Loretta. Loretta. Loretta, do you want to win this one? Yes. I thank everyone that helps me out. Oh, you already made it. Okay. So I'm going to look. Yes, yeah, Cheryl Seidel. Is she on today? Is Cheryl Seidel on today? We'll do a different project, Loretta. Loretta, I know she makes a lot of stuff to do a different project. So Paralita and Jalen, and if we can find Cheryl Seidel, I think it was Sherry Seidel or Sa something Seidel. Um, if she's on, we'll, uh, we'll have her win the third one. Cheryl? Cheryl with an S, right? And I don't, I didn't see if she's on Cheryl with an S, you also won a banner. So there's three of us, three of these winners, uh, Jerry Lynn. Oh, and by the way, um, in case you didn't hear me yesterday, my uh, mom and I put together, we went through all of the people that have won things in the past and uh, we we made sure that we addressed the envelopes, at least based on the emails that I got. And they're going out because the mail, the mail, the post office was closed yesterday, obviously for the holiday. So they're going out to, um, they're going out to the post office today. I gave uh, Santo a big bag full of it. So if you don't receive what you won, um, do me a favor, like within the next couple of days, if you don't receive something in the next couple of days, do me a favor and send me another email and say, you know, Rita, I, I won the blah, blah, whatever the Anna Griffin rose silhouette or the Frankenstein face card, whatever you, you won. And, um, and I didn't receive it. So could you, could you check and see if you sent it? And um, I basically uh, am trying to come up with a good system because this is sort of a new thing for me. So I'm, I'm coming up with a new system where whenever you give me an email, I put them in a different folder so that I, so that I don't miss people, but I'm sure that I have, because I have a lot of extra stuff hanging around. And if I don't get those emails from you, um, then I will give away them to other people 
or maybe you just forgot you won and you forgot so send me an email all right um and that is that's kind of it for today uh, this is this is a fun project. I really wish it was a little more fun because I, then I would have have these all strung up. But when I get off, I'll get these done and then I'll start on tomorrow's project. I'm almost done with the first one. Usually it doesn't take this long. Paralita, Paralita Jalen and Cheryl Seidel. Seidel. Okay, so you three have to send me an email. My email address is Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And um, you can send me an email. Please make sure when you send me the email that you say what you won because I don't always just mail these out the very next day. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. I don't mail them out the very next day. And then sometimes I forget if you just send me this, um, this email that says, I won today's project. And it's like, I'll be like, uh-oh, I got to look at the calendar now, figure out what today, what day that was, what project it was. So here we go. There's the small one. Trick or treat. Isn't that cute? You imagine the big, big one, what it's going to look like. So that's the small one. And these are the big ones. And you will win uh, one of these. And I'll mail it out to you all strung up once I can find out where my baker's twine is. All right, everyone. That is it. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy this beautiful autumn day wherever it is you are i hope the sun has has laid off a little bit the heat has laid off you need you need sato sato is very very helpful my mother keeps saying yeah i know i need a yarn needle cheryl that's what i need my needle point needle um my mother is so fascinated by Santo. She's like, where did you find him? Because he does everything. I, he does He does my laundry. He does all of my trash. He walks my dogs. He cleans my guinea pig cages. He's the best. And, oh, by the way, he says hello. I, I saw him this morning. He said, tell everybody I said hi. So he's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it for me for today, everyone. Oh, so Gloria's saying that there was an update and you're going to want to calibrate your machines for print then cut. So we can go over that tomorrow if you'd like. Yeah, <laughs> Paralita. He's he's um he, he's from the Dominican Republic, but he's been here as a US citizen since the nineties. So, um, he, he's, he calls himself American, but he is from the, cause he is, he is American, but he's from the Dominican. So, um, and he likes to go back there once in a while. He, um, that's where he goes on vacation. So he hasn't taken me yet though. <laughs> he does. Yeah. He does everything. Oh, yeah. So Spanish. He does speak Spanish. Of course, Dominicans speak very fast Spanish. So I have a hard time keeping up with him, but I am doing I'm doing OK with that. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Love you all. And I hope that you tried this project. And if you did win, make sure you send me that email. Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. All right. That's it for me. Take care.